been an insane week in the world of AI. ChatGPT has just released GPT-5, the smartest and fastest model yet, and it has just beat Gemini 2.5 Pro on LM Arena. So I'll be breaking down everything you can do in detail and putting it head to head with Gemini to see how they compare, what it does better, where it's lacking, and what I personally loved about it. Google has made a major breakthrough with Genie 3, an AI model that can turn simple prompts into full-on virtual worlds and the coding AI agents Jules has finally been released to the public. In Gemini we can also now turn simple prompts into visual storybooks and get a bunch of new study tools. I got all of those rolled out to me so we'll be testing them out together. There's a lot more to explore this week and yes the series is expanding from just Gemini but we'll still be primarily focusing on Google's ecosystem just seeing what other AI tools can do that Gemini can't. This way you can take advantage of all of the latest AI. But before we start, we're about to reach 15,000 subscribers. There's loads of useful content coming up. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Let's start with probably the biggest updates in the world of AI since Gemini 2.5 Pro came out. GPT-5 is now finally available to all chat GPT users. So no matter what plan you're on, Plus, Pro, or even the free one, you get access to it. I just got this rolled out to me this morning and I already got to test it out with doing the research and scripting for this video. And before we get into all of the fancy features, let me just point out two things that really impressed me. We're finally at the point where AI can answer your questions with what's happening now, not some crappy article from two weeks ago or some web page it found in its database. It actually looks up information in real time from just a couple of hours ago. So as I'm filming this, let's pull up ChatGPT and say, research the latest AI news that came out in the last 24 hours. And almost instantly, you'll see here that it just pulled out articles that came out 13 hours ago, 17 hours ago, 14 hours ago. And I absolutely love the speed, even for more complex questions. Let me show you just how fast it is with the more complex prompts and put it head to head with Gemini 2.5. Find the latest AI news only from August 4th, which was Monday to today. Focus on actually useful AI features my viewers can implement straight away. And the answer is almost instant. I can't believe it. We've got the latest sources at the top, key features, the most important news, which is GPT-5, of course. And at the end, we have this table with features. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still very bad. I still wouldn't use the rest of the features in this table. And it skipped on probably 80% of actually good news I'm going to be sharing with you today. But at least it fits the time frame, and it's a lot better than it used to be. Now, let's do the same in Gemini. It's still going. So it did take a little longer and there's our news. Now it's kind of random. We get Adobe, Luma Labs and the most important news, which is GPT-5 or even Google's latest releases on, on here. And in the sources, just get this one random Google article that wasn't even included in the reply. Now that's exactly how AI search used to be. So I have to search the web, the X, the Google update pages. So that's probably the thing that impressed me the most about GPT-5. So the main USB of GPT-5 is that you don't need to switch between different AI models anymore. So when you click on ChatGPT here at the top, you'll see that all of the older models were just removed from here. And that's because GPT-5 is an all-in-one model that automatically decides when it needs to reply faster, think or reason more, be more creative, search the internet. So even though we have this thinking model on here, we don't actually have to choose it when your question needs more thinking, ChatGPT will use it automatically. Compare GPT-5 and Gemini 2.5 by creating a detailed list of task categories, e.g. coding, research, creative writing, etc. And for each category, specify which model performs better and explain why. And you'll see that it decided to think through the question, even though I don't have the think model chosen here. And below thinking, you can also click get quick answer if you don't want it to think so much. So you can always opt out of it if you're running out of time, even though why would you? We just got this final answer and it only took it about 15 seconds. Let's see if it's actually any good. So coding, it says that it's a tie. We'll see about that today with Canvas, Deep Research, Gemini, that's true and completely unbiased by the way. Creative writing, GPT-5, definitely true. Gemini still sucks at writing. 
data analysis, Gemini 2.5, not only did it decide that it needed more thinking, it actually did an in-depth search that is actually relevant and up to date. Absolutely incredible. Now, probably one of the biggest breakthroughs of GPT-5 are its enhanced coding capabilities in Canvas. In the stream, we saw the team build this financial dashboard and this super impressive castle game. But what they didn't do is show you how it compares to Gemini 2.5 Pro. And that's obviously what I'm here for. And since this channel's name is Yuri Workflow, let's ask both apps to code any useful interactive productivity app, make it polished, self contained contained and ready to use. I'll go ahead and send that to ChatGPT and let's do the same in Gemini and later we'll come back and see what they made. All right, so both apps have finished coding now. Let's hit run in ChatGPT and this is our app. All right, so we've got the timer here on the right for the Pomodoro technique. We can add tasks. Let's hit and add one, say finish filming ChatGPT news. I can add notes, date, choose priority, let's say urgent. And it actually went and saved it in the inbox and I can move it to today or tomorrow. Let's add another one, a finish filming Gemini segment. And I can also drag and drop this one. Let's add a note here at the bottom and see what happens. Cool, the note actually stays here. It doesn't look the best, but it's there. Let's see if this search bar works, type Gemini. And it actually pulls up the task. Now, this is absolutely outstanding. Imagine how many custom AI tools you can build and use in the preview here. And this is the Gemini one. It doesn't look bad, it's just a little bit more simple. Let's entering our tasks, finish ChatGPT segment, finish Gemini segment, and that's all you can do here except take the tasks off the list. Now that's a huge difference. Google needs to release Gemini 3 like today. All right, so now let's continue to what Google AI has released this week, starting with a major breakthrough. Now there's no better way to introduce this feature to you other than with this comment. Google just casually dropping the matrix on a random Tuesday, and that's exactly what it felt like. They just launched Genie 3, an insane AI model that allows you to use natural language to generate a variety of worlds from it and then explore them interactively. It has world memory, so the environment stay consistent and it even memorizes the actions the user takes so you could paint a wall here and then step away from it and you'll still be able to see the action you just took and you could also use text prompts to add more elements into your world like a man in a chicken suit a man in a jet ski and a dragon. Now, this feature is currently not public yet. It's still in preview, but this is an insane breakthrough for the future of gaming, entertainment, robotics, simulating dangerous situations and training, manufacturing, and so much more. Most AI tools can chat and answer questions, but they don't actually do the work for you. You still want updating your CRM, replying to emails, scheduling meetings, moving data between tools, all that repetitive stuff. That's why I was so impressed when I found Mixus AI. It lets you build AI agents that actually take action and do work for you. You just tell the agent what you want, and it connects to Gmail, Salesforce, Jira, HubSpot, Calendar, and more to actually complete it. So say, turn my last meeting into a check checklist, back up my files from Gmail to Google Drive, build a weekly Zendesk report and drop it in Slack by Friday, and it does all of that for you instantly. No coding, no Zapier-style workflows, you describe the task and Mixes gets it done, and the best part, you have full human oversight so you can review and approve anything before it happens, so you're probably constantly missing opportunities just because you didn't reply to that email fast enough. Well, with Mixes, you can turn every yes email into a pre-filled Salesforce lead in seconds, just say, check my email for leads and add them to Salesforce. And just like that, everything is in your CRM ready to close. Or you tell Mixes, book a meeting with Alex next week and pull the background from HubSpot. And it finds the best time, sends the invite, and then researches your prospect, pulling the company info, recent interactions, key talking points. So you walk into the call fully prepared. So if you want AI that doesn't just answer questions and actually does the work for you, check Mixus AI with my link in the description. And let's get back to the video.
Gemini has just launched Storybooks, a feature that allows you to turn any idea into a fully illustrated storybook with narration in over 45 different languages. You just type out your prompt, upload your files with it, and you get this unique book with custom art. In the demo, they showed this person upload their resume, and she asked it to create a coloring book style story explaining what she does to her kid. And this is the book they got with illustrations. And later you can hit listen to it and print it. Let's go ahead and see if that's actually how it works. So I'm just gonna say create a storybook about ChatGPT invasion and the fall of the Gemini empire in futuristic style. ChatGPT has got hold of most Gemini territories but still retains some control and I just pasted in this video script outline and you'll see here that it starts creating a book. All right so we've got this ChatGPT general Cygnus creating a plan to attack the Gemini Empire, then Gemini is trying to defend themselves. I love this page. Cygnus gifted a polished, fully interactive productivity app to the citizens of the conquered territories. It was a marvel of simple, intuitive code that organized their lives perfectly. When Gemini tried to counter with their own version, they could only produce a basic to-do list. That's so cool. We can also hit listen to hear our story. The GPT-5 scouts, with their smaller data processing limit, could not comprehend the scale of the archive's defenses. It's pretty good and also very easy to use. You can just flip through the pages and restart the player again. It will read out loud that specific page. It's such a fun way to turn your learning materials into easy to remember stories. Gemini has also just launched a guided learning feature that is supposed to give you step-by-step -step explanations with images. So I've just asked it to explain to me how AI models like Gemini 2.5 work in the background with visuals and it just asked me a bunch of questions and generated this diagram about the basics. Now it's kind of really messy as this was just starting out with the basics. It really doesn't work and there's no step-by-step -step explanation here. I did the same prompt with ChatGPT study mode and now this is the step-by-step -step guide I was looking for. There are visuals inside these code snippets. There are no images but I think we can all agree that this is so much better now let's try out the other learning feature. I'll type generate a practice quiz on AI. And here it is. There are about 10 questions. Let me quickly go through all of them. And at the end we get this dashboard. I can click here to analyze my performance. All right. So it explains in detail what I did wrong and what I did right. Pretty cool. Let's see what happens when I hit flashcards. Okay. So we got about 25 different flashcards on all parts of AI. That's pretty amazing. I just wish it let me go back to the dashboard because now I'm kind of stuck on the flashcards and I can't go back. But overall, these tools are pretty decent. We will have also just made Jules, the AI coding agent, available for everyone. It's pretty much free to use, but you get higher usage limits if you're an AI pro or ultra subscriber. In short, Jules is an AI agent that works asynchronously, so you just give it a task like to fix a bug or upgrade a package, and it codes in the background while you do other things. To use it, you're just going to go to jules.google.com, add your GitHub repo, enter your tasks and Jules will first scan your database, give you a plan and when you approve it, it'll start coding and making changes in the background. It's amazing to see Google make tools like this more accessible to developers. Huge Notebook LM Studio panel updates were just announced last week and they finally got rolled out to everyone. So let me show you how they work and how to use them. I just created this notebook, Gemini 2.5 Pro with his GPT-5 and let's see what's new here. You can now generate multiple custom audio and video overviews from your content all in one notebook. So first let's choose all of the sources in this notebook, click three dots next to the audio overview, customize and say compare Gemini 2.5 Pro capabilities with GPT-5. Th that's going to be kind of like the general audio overview. Now let's do the same again but only pick the Gemini sources and say 
generate a detailed audio overview of Gemini 2.5 features. So this podcast is only going to walk you through all of the Gemini 2.5 sources. And now I'd like to choose only the chat GPT sources. And next to the video overview, I'm going to hit the three dots again and say generate a video detailing everything GPT-5 can do. And just like that, you can pick different sources and generate content on different topics. All right, so all of our materials just got generated. We've got this podcast just about Gemini 2.5. We'll be focusing particularly on Gemini 2.5 Pro. A detailed comparison of both AI tools. Gemini 2.5 Pro and, of course, OpenAI's newly launched GPT-5. And finally, just the chat GPT video. On a benchmark that tests complex real-world coding, GPT-5 scored almost 75%. They slashed their prices for developers. We're talking a price drop of up to 80%. I really loved the video. It organized all of the info together and showed some useful visuals like the benchmarks and also the costs. Overall, all of these features are great and are definitely breakthrough for research. Mm -hmm.